If you've been keeping an eye online this past week, you'll know plenty of people have been talking about Tudor's 2019 releases. Just like we did the other day at the Tudor press conference, let me run through the latest models with you, as well as sharing some of our first on-wrist shots, footage, images and thoughts. The Tudor Bronze Black Bay This model is a brand new bronze addition to the Black Bay lineup, actually taking the place of the old bronze model with a brown bezel and dial. The 3, 6 and 9 still remain, the larger size at 43mm is also present and of course a snowflake hand. The dial is also slightly lighter towards the middle. Interestingly, the bronze on this watch, rather than going a green colour, will patina and go more of a brown slash chocolate brown tone. A nice compliment to the grey tones. The bronze Black Bay will be available April of this year and will cost 3,850 Swiss franc. Next up is a model which we first saw introduced in 2017. Originally we saw it just in stainless steel, However now, we have the Black Bay Chrono in two-tone. Tudor's overall marketing for this release is heavily focused on the motorsports relationship behind chronographs. The two-tone on this watch isn't all solid gold, however. The fixed bezel is solid, and the first centre link of the bracelet is. However, the rest of the bracelet and the crown is capped in gold. The bezel is also complete in a black anodized aluminium insert. The Black Bay Chrono S&G will be available June of this year, and will cost 6,500 Swiss franc on the bracelet and 5,350 on the leather bund and fabric strap. Next up, we have the new 32, 36 and 41 mil Black Bay, also in steel and gold. Tudor continue to build on their slightly smaller, more simple Black Bay models this year, with the introduction of a new colorway and bracelet to the range. Now available in a fully brushed two-tone, these new options add a touch of class and elegance to a sporty range. Two dial options are available on launch, a black lacquered dial and a satin brushed champagne. Like the new Chrono, the same mixture of solid gold and capped gold can be found throughout the watch. The Black Bay 32, 36 and 41 S&G will be available May of this year and will cost from 3,750 to 3,950 Swiss franc, depending on the size. And finally, the Tudor Black Bay P1 Diver. The watch itself is based off an early prototype developed in the late 60s and proposed for the US Navy. Many hardcore collectors and aficionados of both Rolex and Tudor thought the images of the watch and the patent for the design were not genuine. However, over 50 years later, Tudor finally confirmed it was all real with its new release. The watch comes in at 42mm wide, 200m water resistant and is fitted to a rubber strap with a leather top. Many opinions online are along the lines of it being a very odd looking, not very wearable watch that looks quite out of place. However, after a good 10 to 15 minutes with the watch this week, I'm pleased to report that this is simply not the case. The watch genuinely feels remarkably wearable on the wrist. Sure, it may look a bit out of place with a navy blazer. However, the construction, the strap, the dial, and mainly the bezel lock is a pleasure to look at. Locking and unlocking the bezel feels so intuitive. The loom on the hands and indices are a very very slight cream colour which is matching the date window, also in the same tone. The Tudor Black Bay P01 is 3750 Swiss franc and will be available July of 2019. So 2019, an interesting year for Tudor. For many it will have been a huge hit. For others, not so. Personally, the releases from Tudor may not have been my pick of the bunch beforehand. However, seeing the watches in person at Baselworld has helped me understand the releases a lot more. What do you think? Do you think this has been a good year for Tudor? Let us know in the comments below. Stay tuned to the channel and the Watch Gecko Online magazine for regular Baselworld news and watch industry reporting.